guys, welcome back to Calvin Cook, and today it's something very special. A beautiful shoulder of lamb, bone in, might I say. And with this, we're going to roast it for 12 hours in the oven overnight. It's going to be absolutely beautiful. So for this, I'm going to make a marinade, a tablespoon of oregano, half a teaspoon of this garlic pepper. Beautiful. Four sprigs of thyme, finely chopped some garlic, some extra virgin olive oil, some salt. Easy, let's get into it. All right, guys, so I finally chopped up the uh, rosemary, the garlic, mixed it all together with the oil, salt, pepper. Everything's all mixed up. Lovely color to this. So now all that's left to do is to rub it on the uh, lamb. Right, so I've got the beautiful lamb. Now I'm just gonna pour over all that lovely green marinade. Full of flavour this. It smells beautiful. You just rip all that goodness into this lamb. Mm -mm. Get it all covered. Like so. All I'm gonna do now is let that uh, chill in the fridge for about what time is it now? It's all filled now. So yeah, it's gonna have eight hours in the fridge marinating. So yeah, she should be awesome. Right then guys, so the lamb has been marinating for eight and a half hours in the fridge. Here she is in all her glory. Right, so what I've got here is some whole onions. I've kept the skin on, like so. Some celery, just roughly chopped. That's going to act it out as a bed, a truss it, I think it's called. Keep the lamb above the liquids cooking. So all we're going to do now is add the lamb on top of that and add 500 ml of water to our truss it. Like so. As soon as the oven comes up to temperature, 200 degrees, I pop it in for 45 minutes uncovered and then I'll show you what I'm going to do after that. So, see you in 45 minutes. Yep, here she is before she goes in the oven. Oh, hope this is good this. Alright, so there she is, 45 minutes at 200 degrees. So now, I'm going to wrap it in parchment paper and then double wrap it in tin foil. And then launch it back in at 100 degrees for 12 hours. So that's it with the parchment paper on. All that's doing is helping it keeping all the moisture inside whilst it's cooking overnight. That's all that's doing. So that's it now with the tin foil on. I've triple wrapped it. Um, just to be extra safe, I want none of that moisture escaping. And for an extra good layer of protection, I've got my little lid as well. Hopefully no moisture escapes and I don't wake up tomorrow with a dry lamb. So see it in 12 hours. All right guys, the moment of truth. It's been 12 hours. I've been like a big kid at Christmas. I couldn't sleep. All I could smell was the aromas coming from my oven all night. So I'm not long being up myself, hence why I'm still in my night attire. But yeah, let's get her out of the oven and open her up. Right, here we go. Oof. Let's get this sarcophagus open. One layer. Two layer. More truth. This is how Howard Carter felt when he opened King Tut's tomb. I know it is. Oh, beautiful. Let's get a close up of this. Alright, so here she is. King Tut himself. Let's just have a dib dab. Woo! Look at that. Now that is a, a tender piece of uh, lamb. 
Right, couldn't really show it off before, but this is how tender the lamb is. Look at that. That's a clean bone. Oh, okay, you know. Beautiful. Right, guys, so that lamb was tender as out. So, next step drain off all the liquid into a saucepan, reduce that right down, and make a jus out of that. Um, I've also got me some. Uh, 10 cent broccoli, garlic, olive oil, pepper, salt, roast them up. Got some celeriac mash on the go. And let's bring this all together now. Right, I've just strained all the meat juices and veg juices out of that pan into this saucepan. Look at how rich that looks. All I'm gonna do now is reduce that right down and thicken up with a bit of corn flour. All right, so it's been reducing for about 10, 15 minutes. As you see, it's thickened up and darkened in colour. So what I'm going to add to this now is a tablespoon of corn flour mixed with 65 ml of water. I'll add that to the new. Where's my bloody stirrer? And then let that thicken up like a nice syrup. Alright, so after another third of the five minutes after I've added the corn flour, this is the uh, consistency I'm looking for. Beautiful. Alright, let's get plating up. So we have it guys, 12 hour roasted lamb, celeriac mash and roasted tender stem broccoli with that. Beautiful. Oh shoot. Mm. Oh, that jus is amazing with that lovely tender lamb. Oh. Mm -hmm. Please give it a go, especially now it's coming to Easter. Perfect idea to have lamb. Um, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, all that. Help the channel out. It's not doing very well in there. But yeah. Thank you. Bunga bunga.